hey, this is Kevin from Breakdance, and in this video, we're going to go over the post list element. When you add the post list element to Breakdance, it will show all the posts on your site by default in a nice layout for you to use immediately. You can then customize the design, query, and layout to meet your needs. Within the post list element, there are certain areas that you can modify to change the look and functionality of the post list. On the post controls, you can see these areas. They are image, which allows you to disable it, or choose a fallback image in case a post doesn't have a featured image. You can disable the title or change the title tag to a heading, span, or div. You can modify what meta is displayed within the post list. You can disable it altogether or choose one of the three different options. You can change the selector to be whatever you wish it to be. And you can choose to add a link for each of the different meta options. The taxonomy area will allow you to disable it. You can also choose which taxonomy you would like to display. This could be the regular WordPress taxonomies or a custom taxonomy that you're using. You can choose to show how many taxonomies to display, the separator that is used, and whether or not you'd like to link to the archive for each taxonomy. The content area is where you can choose to show the excerpt of the content as well as how many words are shown, or you can choose to display the entire content. The button area is where you can choose to change the read more text to be whatever you'd like it to be. The open a new tab option will open the post in a new tab instead of redirecting the user. And the tag is where you set the HTML tag for each post within the list. On the design tab for the post is where you can change the look and feel of the post list. So for the container area, you can choose different background colors, borders, padding, the images, you can choose where it's positioned, the space, the aspect ratio. So if you have all 16, nine images or four, three images, this is where you'd set that. The title area is where you can change the typography. You can change the space below the title and you can change the order. So if you want to display the title below the meta area, you would use order to change where it is placed. The meta area again allows you to change the text, allows you to change the color of the separator, some other spacing and border. The taxonomy has very much the same as the meta area. The content area is where you can change your typography, and the button is where you can choose the different button styles. You can also change the layout of the post list. By default, it is a grid with three items per row. You could change this to four items, five items, whatever you want to do. You can also set the breakpoint for where the grid will only display one item per row, which is better for mobile screens or smaller screens. We'll now go to the query area. So the query by default will display all the posts on your site. You can choose to customize this further. For the custom query, you can change what post types you're selecting. So in this example, I'm choosing itineraries. Any post types added to your site, whether they're default WordPress post types or custom post types will be displayed here. And as you can see, you can choose to display one, two, or many of the different post types. The amount section is where you can change the amount of posts shown per page, the total posts loaded by the query, and offset, which will let you determine how many posts you'd like to skip. You can use the conditions and meta query areas to filter the posts that you are displaying in the post list. Next, we have the order area, which is where you can select several options to determine how the posts are ordered within the list. We also have the date option, which is where you can choose a date range for the post being displayed. And there is also the ignore current post option, which will exclude the current post from the list. This is good for relationships or related posts that you might be displaying. One additional thing to note for the source area is you can choose to display post types. You can choose to display related, which is based on a taxonomy, or you can choose an ACF relationship field. After you've decided what you want your query to look like, if you hit apply query, it will update automatically in Breakdance. There is also the text query area, which is where you can just do text strings, and the array query area, which is for more advanced queries. Next, we have pagination. Pagination has several options available, such as numbers, previous and next, numbers plus previous and next, load more, and infinite scroll. We're not going to cover pagination in this video, but it is available in another video. You can also go to the design tab to change the look and feel of your pagination area. Last, we have the filter bar, which if you enable that will allow you to select a taxonomy to filter your posts by. We won't cover this in this video, but it is available in another one. 